guys, today I'm going to get into another question and that's how do we edit our videos? Now, I know this isn't everybody's thing, so if it's not yours, no worries. As always, we will be back on Sunday with a full vlog. But for those that are interested in the kind of behind the scenes sneak peek, stay tuned because me and apparently the dogs are going to show you exactly what a video looks like behind the scenes. All right, first things first, we use Adobe Premiere Pro to produce all of our videos. I tried iMovie for the first couple and it works great for free software and it was really nice that it just came installed on the laptop, but there were a couple of things that I really wanted to be able to do that you just can't do with iMovie. So I went ahead and stepped it up to Adobe Premiere Pro. As you might have imagined, the videos you see here on YouTube every week look a little different behind the scenes. What I see when I look at a video is this. I know this might be the first time some of you are seeing Premiere, so I'm gonna go over three basics. First, this is the timeline. It's where all the video and audio clips are added together to make a production. Second is the program window. This is where you can see a video representation of what you put into the timeline. And third is the playhead. As the playhead moves along the timeline, the program window displays your video. Now, obviously I have no idea how any other channel does it, but I'm sure we all follow a fairly similar practice. And this is just my standard for how I set up our videos. Inside of Premiere, everything is broken down into two different types of tracks. You have your audio tracks and you have your video tracks. Video tracks stack. Think of them like playing cards. If you set down one card on top of another, you're not gonna be able to see what's underneath it. And that's the same way that videos operate within Premiere. When I'm editing in Premiere, I start by putting our audio roll or our main storyline on this first track. You can see a lot of cuts here. And the reason that there are cuts is because sometimes I say so or um or uh a little too frequently. And I wanna make sure that I'm delivering content that isn't driving y'all crazy, so I cut those out. And some cuts are just because I tend to ramble. I mean, these Thursday videos are supposed to only be three minutes long, and let's face it, I go over just about every single week. Now, B-roll is what comes next, and I'm sure you guys have all heard of B-roll before. It's basically the best part of any video. It's all the visual elements that really help pull the story together. It's all the stuff that we get from the drone and all the details we get on our camera. It's quite honestly, to me, the most fun to capture because it's just all so beautiful. As you can see, the majority of our story comes from that audio roll and our B-roll. So on the next track is where I put things like text or pictures. These things just help bring clarity and sometimes a little bit more visual interest. And the next track is reserved for animations. I love making animations, but not every video has them. It really just depends how much time I have during the editing process. And the final layer is a color adjustment layer. Not all color comes out perfectly from the camera. That's really the ideal situation and you want to make sure that you try as hard as you can. But there's always going to be situations where you needed a little bit more light or the tone was just a little too green because you were in a really forested area. So we use an adjustment layer to make sure the color that you see on your screen is true to life. As we scroll through a video, you can see that when a new layer comes up, it replaces what's going on underneath it and it all flows together, just like a movie. Now. Moving on to audio. Audio is a little bit different than video because they don't cancel each other out. They build on top of one another. And that means that you can hear every track at the exact same time. So our audio layer includes all the times where Charles or I or somebody else that's on the camera is speaking. And our B-roll layer is all of the elements that go along with our B-roll. Now, I put our B-roll on a separate layer than our audio roll because I don't want it to have the same volume. I want to make sure that whatever is happening in the background is represented, but it's not as loud as our speaking. Because I want you guys to be able to hear what I'm saying, but you don't want to cut it out completely because those background noises, that's the soundtrack of life. If you don't hear it, then you're not really gonna believe that you're there and you're not gonna feel it as much. So we need to keep them in. We just wanna make sure that you can still hear us above all that extra noise. 
Now, the next track is where I put all of our sound assets that link up to the visual assets on our third track of the video. For example, whenever I add in a picture, I like to add in a little camera shutter click. And whenever I add in something technical, I like to add a mouse click. And I don't know if you ever noticed, but when I drop our intro in, I always add in a little ocean wave sound. And last of all is music. Now, if you've been around for a while, you know that we have really struggled with music in the past, and that's because it's kind of hard. It is definitely a learning process. Here you can see all the times that we lower the volume of the music so that you can really hear the audio that we want to make sure is nice and crisp. And that's it. That's what one of our videos looks like behind the scenes. Now, as I'm sure you can imagine, each one of these videos takes a lot of time to edit. I spend somewhere between 10 and 15 hours every week editing one of our vlogs. So with that in mind, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you on Sunday with an all new vlog. Bye guys!